Hello friends, now we will see the frequency modulation. So the waveforms of frequency modulation. The amplitude of the modulating signal it is indicated by this sinusoidal signal. Carrier it is shown and the FM signal output we observe here. As per the definition, frequency of the carrier changes in accordance with amplitude of modulating signal. That means when the modulating signal is positive, that time the frequency of the carrier increases and when the modulating signal goes to its negative peak, that time frequency of the carrier decreases. Here the amplitude of the FM wave is kept constant along with the phase. Now the output of this FM wave we will see that more and more number of the sidebands are present. So it can be observed in the frequency spectrum of FM wave. Here the carrier it is placed at the center and we will see that more and more number of the sideband. So here FM wave basically consisting of infinite number of the sidebands decreasing in amplitude observed. So the frequency FC is nothing but a carrier frequency center frequency FC plus FM upper sideband 1, FC plus 2 FM, upper sideband 2, FC plus 3 FM, upper sideband 3 and so on. On the negative side, FC minus FM, FC minus 2 FM, FC minus 3 FM are nothing but the relative frequencies of the lower sideband. Hence, in FM wave, the bandwidth becomes very very large. So, formula for this bandwidth equal to 2 times del plus FM. Here, del is nothing but the deviation into the frequency. Now here we will see the modulation index. The modulation index of the FM wave it is indicated as M of F and which is nothing but a ratio of the frequency deviation divided by modulating frequency. Mathematically it is shown as M of F equal to del by FM. Now more clear idea of, about this uh, mathematical relation will be clear. The equation for instantaneous frequency Fi in FM modulation is Fi equal to Fc plus Kt Fm of t where Fc is the carrier frequency along with the Kt is nothing but a frequency sensitivity. Here M of t is nothing but our masses signal and we know that it is an angle modulation. So relationship between the angular frequency omega i and theta i of t as omega i equal to d time theta i of t dt. This indicate 2 pi f i putting the value of omega, omega equal to 2 pi f. 2 pi f i equal to d theta i of t dt. Now theta i of t we can represent it in this way that is 2 pi integration of f i dt. So substituting the f i value in the above equation which will give theta i of t equal to 2 pi f c t plus 2 pi k f integration of m of t dt. So substituting theta i of t value in the standard equation of angle modulated wave will get s of t equal to ac cos of 2 pi fct plus 2 pi kf integration of m of t dt. And this is the equation of fm wave. Now we will consider one case that the modulating signal is present. Suppose m of t equal to am cos of 2 pi fm into t that is equation of modulating signal then the equation of FM wave will be S of t equal to AC cos of 2 pi FCT plus del by FM sin of 2 pi FM into t. Here modulation index it is indicated by del by FM and which is having value KF into AM into FM. So the difference between FM modulated frequency and the normal carrier frequency is termed as the frequency deviation and eh, which is indicated by del and the value of that it is equal to the product of kf and am. This was all about the fm modulation. Thank you for watching.